teaching by the case method has been humbling and exhilarating. In developing cases and in teaching cases, time after time, there are pivots. There are unexpected things along the way. And I realize now that that's not just at an individual case level, it's at a course level. And for me, it's been at a career level. It's been the pivots along the way, the unexpected insights that grow into something bigger, into a new stream of research, a new set of insights, further dialogue. It's open, it's dynamic. And in some sense, you're always learning. My two most prominent streams of research are on corporate level strategy and the human dimension of leading strategy. And a case that brings both of those together is a case I developed on Steve Jobs. I think the Steve Jobs case really resonates with executive students. It starts out that they think about him as someone very different from them, sort of a really quirky genius. But when we do the case, I think it really humanizes Steve Jobs and they see that a lot of things that are fundamental to strategy, things we've been talking about in class, he gets them wrong. And what you see in his journey is the failures that he encountered and eventually what he learned from them and how important those are to the Steve Jobs story and how ultimately he was able to put those two together, the successes and the failures, and come back with a fourth act that was magnificent. For me, the biggest takeaways have been case discussions in the classroom or in the process of writing the case itself when you're out in the field, and it takes you to someplace you didn't expect. And it puts variables on the table that aren't in theory, that don't exist in, in current research, and at a very fundamental level, help you think about a problem in a very new way. And to me, that's had the most profound impact on my research is when it's opened up new dimensions and new questions. And frankly, where I haven't been, and in some cases where the field itself hasn't been before.